What's up YouTube? It's time for another WSOP event today. If you guys haven't caught up on my WSOP so far this year, make sure you check out my new WSOP playlist. I've made some deep runs so far this summer. I'm hoping to make another deep run even deeper. So let's see where this goes. Press like and hit subscribe. Thanks. Today's event is a 3K 6 max limit hold'em. It's my third and probably final limit structured tournament for the summer. Um, this is gonna be a fun one because limit hold'em in general, pre-flop is already more aggressive than no limit hold'em is. So when you add into the, the factor of 6 max, it's like aggression and aggression. It's gonna be a lot of, a lot of fun. High variance probably, but um, hopefully run a little good too and play good and find a bag. The reason why Limit Hold'em is more aggressive pre-flop than No Limit, especially 6 max, is because it's really, really important to isolate out the blinds so you can potentially play heads up from position, which is very important. Um, it also protects your equity, which um, the equity gaps in, in Hold'em are, you know, bigger than like other forms of poker so it's worth doing that also you don't get punished if you over three bet or over four bet and get four or five bet it's uh you're still gonna see a flop i have 50k at the first break actually technically it's the second break because i i late reg but uh there's already been some interesting hands see the first hand that i won it's not that interesting but the first hand is always exciting so i'll share it uh, the blind raised, I had ace nine of clubs seated in the big blind. I'm pretty much flatting from the big blind 100% uh, just to protect my big blind defense range, um, unless with the exception of it being the small blind who opens, then I could three about that. But um, flop came out jack three deuce with two clubs. I check raise the flop, he calls, Deuce of spades on the turn, I bet he folds. That was pot A. The second hand was a little bit more interesting. The hijack opened, I three bet pocket queen from the small blind, he called, and the flop came out. Seven, five, four, uh, I bet he calls. Ten of diamonds on the turn, I bet he raises me. I contemplate if I want a three bet or not. I decided to play a little safer and just call. And then the nine of diamonds on the river, I check call and he had king, ten, uh, king 10 offsuit. So that was a nice pot right there. And the third pot, this one's kind of a sick one. Um, I opened pocket tens in the low jack with the 10 of hearts and the 10 of spades. The cutoff just calls, which is a little unusual in limit hold'em. Um, the flop comes out king nine, eight, three clubs. I bet he calls. The turn was a jack, uh, not a club, just a jack. Um, I check call because I'm now open ended and then bink the river with the queen of hearts. I decide to play it tricky. I check, he bets, I raise, he three bets me. I'm like, oh shit. Uh, but I have to call. And he had ace three clubs for a flop flush. So that was a kind of a gross one. Uh, check out this hand. So the cutoff opened. I three bet with king 10 of clubs. I'm three betting wide on the button because the cough should be uh, opening fairly wide. Plus, I'm trying to isolate out the blind. So even if I do have a worse hand because I have position against the cutoff, that kind of makes up for it. But the big blind, four bets, call, call. The flop comes out king, king, four with two hearts, one diamond. Big blind bets, cutoff calls. I just call because I'm going to raise the turn when the bet doubles to uh, to a big bet. Three of diamonds comes on the turn, so there's two flush draws out there now. It goes check, the cutoff now bets, and I actually went in the tank for a little while because I'm thinking, what is he betting here? He has to have a king, and then my kicker might not be good, but I'm also trying to get out the flush draws, so I ended up two betting. The big blind, who I thought was gonna fold, ends up calling. And then the cutoff three bets, call, call. The river was a five of spades. The big blind checks, the cutoff bets, I call. And now the big blind fucking raises two bets. 
the cutoff calls and I hate my hand now, but I have to call because the pot's so big. Dude, the big blind had pocket aces. He had like the third best hand. I don't even understand his check raise there. The cutoff had pocket threes, so he turned a full house. So that was a gross one. Um, and then I just couldn't recover after that. That like really crippled me. All right. Oh, I like the flop. Oh, I got a spade too. This game's easy. <laughs> Well, we knew it was going to be a volatile tournament, and volatile it was. All right, it's time to grind. Today is a new day. I'm going to play the one day 1100, 150k guarantee here at the Venetian. It's kind of funny because I've spent probably like seven or eight nights here at the Venetian this month, and this is the first. Venetian event I'm playing this summer. That seems like a lucky number. Okay, uh, spoiler alert, I just busted on the last hand before the break with pocket aces, but uh, it was a very active table and played some really interesting and fun hands, so let's just dive into the hand history. So the first hand, big blind is 600. The low jack's gonna open it up to 1500. I 3-bet from the hijack with pocket 9s to 5k and then the cutoff 4-bets to 9k which is a min click pretty much. Seems like he has aces here, maybe kings, he just seems super strong. Um, but after the low jack folds, I'm getting 3-1 to one to try to hit a 9, so plus some fly dots. So I see a flop, comes out queen 7-5 rainbow. I check, he surprisingly checks back. So now I'm thinking, okay, he's slow playing something, or maybe he has like, maybe he has ace king. It'd be really weird pre-flop sizing if he has ace king though. Turn is a six, which is great for me because now I pick up a straight draw. I check again. He checks back again. So now I'm thinking, okay, he actually does have ace king. He doesn't know what he's doing pre-flop. Jack on the river. It goes check check. I turn over my hand. He turns over ace jack suited, which is just I don't I. That was a surprise. Very weird. All right, so after that, what the fuckery hand with the ace jack. Um, the blinds are up to 800. The blind's gonna open to 2K. I'm gonna call with 5-4 diamonds in the small blind. And the big blind folds, we're heads up, and the flop comes out king 7-4 with two spades, one diamond. So I have a backdoor flush draw and bottom pair. I check, he bets 3,500. I call. And the turn is a seven of diamonds, so now I have a flush draw. As uh, well, I already had a flush draw, but now I have a legit flush draw. And now I leave out 6k because I'm gonna be doing this every time I hit a seven with all my 7x hands as well. Because I don't want him to check back and realize all his flush draw equities on the flop. He calls, and then eight of diamonds falls on the river. And I have about a one to one pot to stack, stack to pot ratio. Uh, so I go all in for 22k into I think 24k in the pot. He probably does have a king and maybe a good king. So I'm targeting those hands right now. And he goes in the tank and then finally folds the king of hearts face up. So I didn't get max value there, but whatever. So we're still at the 800 big blind. Under the gun is going to open with 23k behind to 2k. I'm going to 3-bet with pocket queens from the cutoff to 5.2k. He rips it for 23k. I snap call. He has ace king. Hits the king on the river. And then the last hand right before the break. I'm in middle position. The big blind is 1200. I raise it up to 2500 with two red aces. I get action from the button, the small blind, and the big blind. It comes out king 3-4. I see bet about half the pot, 5k. The big blind calls, it's a five on the turn. I bet 11k, he rips it, I snap call, and he has six, seven offsuit for a straight, and I'm drawing dead, pretty much, so that was that. And now the plan is to walk back over to the horseshoe because there's a daily $250 horse event. I've never, ever played horse before but i've been practicing mixed games and i need to get some real uh in some real live game practice so i think i'm gonna go play it i'm not playing to win it but it should be fun 
You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna win the horse event. All right, let's go. First time playing a horse. H stands for Hold'em. O stands for Omaha. Eight. Raz. Stud. And stud eight, I think. <laughs> I don't even know. Wow, horse did not go well. It's H-O-R-S and the E stands for Eliminated. What's going on, everyone? Today is another moving day. Once again, I am moving from the Venetian to the Horseshoe. It's pretty much just been going back and forth this summer between these two venues. Um, today I'm gonna be playing at Aria in the 600 daily 75K guarantee. That'll be my first time playing at Aria this summer. Let's go. All right guys, I'm at the Aria. I had to wait about 90 minutes to get seated as an alternate. I got seated, played for about 45 minutes, got six outed on the river, and I just ha don't have any desire to wait in that line again to re-enter for what would be like 10 big blinds. So that's a wrap for this trip. Make sure you guys hit subscribe because next up we have the main event. That's a 10K buy-in WSOP. First place is gonna be like $10 million. It's gonna be epic and I'm gonna open I'm gonna register on day two, let's go.